In this gray log feature video, I'm going to quickly show you views. Once you log on to your gray log infrastructure, if you go up to your enterprise menu and then drop that down to views, you might see a populated list of pre-built views, which I'll show you quickly, and then we'll show you how to create one of those. I'm going to click on DNS overview just to get a quick view on that. You'll see here that we have the last one day of logs. I have my DNS servers in use, the amount of bytes, and some requested domains. Now this one was pre-built, but if you want to create your own, you go to that same menu, Enterprise and Views, and in the top right there's a Create New View button. If you click on that Create New View button, the first thing to do is to set its time range of when this dashboard or this view will look at. So I'm going to say the last hour in this case. I'm also going to restrict that data set down to DNS requests. Now once those two initial parameters are there, I want to add some nice widgets inside of here. So I'm going to say up front, I want to see the geo countries because I like to know if anybody has requested a DNS server outside of my country. So I'm going to say I'm going to aggregate that view. Here are 30 requests in the U.S. I want to change that title though, so I just double click on it and type in country. And then maybe as well I want to add in something around the question. What was getting asked for in the DNS request? So I'm going to go ahead and create that aggregate as well. And I'm going to drag that up over here. Again, all these widgets you can drag and drop around. In this case, there's a lot of them. It's a little past my view. So I'm going to come inside of this widget and say edit it. And then if I click on the question number here, I can limit the number. So I'm going to limit that down to 10 instead of 15. You'll see here that it adjusted that pretty quickly. You can sort those out if you want descending or ascending. Maybe you got the bottom 10 instead of the top 10. There's also the ability to filter. So in this case, there's a lot of Amazon AWS. I could filter that word out if that's something I didn't want in this widget through this filter icon right here. When I'm done editing it, just click on the finish editing. It is now here, my top 10 views, and then I can rename this one as well, the question. Once you're done editing all these, come up to this view actions column and then click save. And when you save that, you can then share that with anybody else on the system. I hope this quick tutorial on views was useful. We'll have an additional series of other items coming out.